from what I've seen at you, you've been pretty, pretty great at dealing with criticism. The question is how other people can learn from that, because lots of people on social media now and social media can be a pretty brutal place for people if they're not prepared for that. What would you share with those people? Um, yeah, it, social media can be a, a, an awful place uh, at times. Um, so I would suggest that you kind of uh, assess your own strengths and weaknesses in your personality, uh, decide whether or not you know that criticism that may come your way, how that will affect you. Um, and if it's not going to affect you too much, then by all means, take a look through your replies and see what people are saying. Uh, however, if you if you feel like honestly you're a little bit fragile and that might distract you or it might sway you in some way, um, then the easiest solution is to uh, post your thoughts. Don't look at the replies. That's the easiest thing to do. So for kids, they may not want to be on it at all. Uh, I would suggest social media is probably the worst thing that could happen to school aged children in the history of the world. Quite a statement. Um, but yeah. yeah, well worth reflecting on. I, I think it is it is a powerful statement, um, but it's one that uh, having you know grown up as a kid without it uh, and knowing how uh, how happy my childhood was uh, and how there was no none of the distractions uh, that are around to stop you from enjoying just being a kid. Um, uh, and I think that's the biggest thing that I, that the reason why I make that statement is because it, it distracts you from in, enjoying life as a kid. Um, you know, that carefree time in our lives where we should be just out playing with our mates and um, uh, and yet, no, uh, the kids are glued to their screens wondering what the, the some person who they probably don't even know might have just met once or twice uh, and they're worried about what they're saying about them after they've posted something on their social media channels and that's not really uh, a recipe for a, for a happy childhood. Distracts you from football, right? I would distract you from whatever you whatever you're good at in life. So I, I've I've kind of had a belief that uh, within each and every one of us, um, I think there's there's something that each and every one of us is good at in life. Um, it's just a, a case of trying to find what that is, uh, making the, making the most of that, um, uh, and trying to trying to find your navigate your way through life as as happily as possible, um, and not dreading having to go to work, which is something that I've been very lucky in, in my life. In 53 years, I've never kind of really dreaded uh, going into work. I've, as I said, I got paid for doing my hobby for 17 years, uh, and then I got paid for another 15 or so years um, talking about my hobby. So, um, you know, I've been, been pretty lucky in life. 